heap reminds me of your father. A scrap pile, but there's always somebody foolish enough to get it running again, never thinking that it could drive off and leave you in the dust. I don't want to see you get hurt. Thank you, Lulu, but don't worry about me. I have no illusions being married to your dad. You and my dad are a weirdly well-matched couple, but now that my mom's awake, it's like a triangle and somebody always gets left out. Why do you assume it's going to be me? Why do you assume it isn't? All right, so we, uh, <clears throat> we searched the area to the south. There's no sign of either one of them. And there's a stream bed that we're going to take to the north while there's still light. Yeah, just enough light to get me back up to the top. You should come with me. That is a good idea. Yeah, we'll call you if we No, I'm, I, I, I'm coming with you guys. I want to see Mom and Dad, too. Well, I want to see the bottom of a martini glass and save one for your father. I, um, excuse me, could you help me to the top, please? What? I'm sorry, did, did I miss something here? Tracy thinks that our dad is going to come back to her. It's just pure denial. Is it? Dad's always been very loyal to Tracy. Yeah, in his own peculiar way, I guess. What if he does choose Tracy? We were starting down a really perfect road when we got remarried. But I messed up. I should have insisted that we elope. You wanted your family around. You wanted Rick to walk you down the aisle. Luke, please, we don't have to revisit this. No, we do. We do because that's where all this started. With Rick's death. I tried to protect you, Laura. I jumped in with both feet and I just... I made everything worse. It's not your fault. If not mine, then whose fault was it? I don't blame you for anything that's happened. Especially not the part after I got sick. Well, if I had known that this moment was going to happen in our lives, everything would have been Look, different. Look, I'm not looking for an apology, Luke. I just want to know where we are now. Because I can't make any realistic plans about my own future and until you've been honest with me. Okay. What do you want to know? Do you love Tracy Quartermain? I got this map from uh, one of the rescue workers. I, here is where we just searched. There's a, there's a rescue team here, and I believe another one here. This is that creek bed. It runs, runs north and then goes east. You, I think you're lucky, should search along the trail here, and then she and I will search along the creek bed. I think we should stick together. Well, One of us get lost. If we, if we split up, we can cover more ground guys, in less time. For, for all we know, Mom and Dad are so busy working out their issues and are not even thinking about getting found. Maybe that's a good thing. Or it's a bad thing. Is it even a possibility at all? Do you, do you really think it's a good idea having Mom and Dad get back together? Love does make mistakes. Like me and Johnny? You said it. I mean, look at me and Elizabeth. I mean, we tried again and it was a disaster. Well, it doesn't have to be. Nicholas, would you give... Emily, a second chance? Yes, I would. But we're dealing with two very unique people here. Three. Whether you like it or not, Tracy is not going anywhere. Well, 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 Tracy. Did the drunken, freeloading fox get away? I hate L.A. Well, who doesn't? Unless you're young and in love. You look like you could use a drink in a glass with a diving board. You short-sighted boob. You could not have set up a more perfect scenario for Luke and Laura to get back together again. You would have handled it differently. Of course! You could have stayed put when you saw me and Luke standing there. We could have had a nice old-fashioned brawl. Luke would have been exposed as a bigamist. And you and your precious Laura could have ridden off into the sunset like fools in love, and I could have gone back to the mansion with my husband. Ah, you know what? I've had a little more experience with Spencer and Laura than you. 
<laughs> you mean failure. Well, you know what, Tracy? Sometimes you just gotta sit back and let destiny take its course. I'll be honest with you. No. I've never heard that before. <laughs> I do have strong feelings for Tracy. Did they start before or after you got her drunk and tricked her into marrying you? After. Long after. It was sort of something that crept up on me. And then when I faced my mortality, it, it sealed the deal. See, one of the events that you missed was I had a massive coronary last year, just before Christmas. And, uh, you know, I'm not one who scares easily, but I don't mind telling you it changed everything. I had one botched bypass and then one that didn't work and then a successful operation. But it really took the wind out of my sails. I'm shocked. Uh, no, not that you got sick, but that you, you went ahead and had the procedure with your suspicion of authority and all. Yeah, well, I, I didn't want to, and I almost didn't, frankly. It was Tracy who convinced me to have the operation. She refused to give up on me and she just wouldn't allow me to give up on myself. So you must have gotten pretty close then, huh? It went from con to con to connection. And my feelings for her shocked me. Almost as much as I'm shocked standing here looking at you now. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I, I think the doctors are pretty shocked to see me up and around, too. Good old LS-49. Yeah, I guess it works differently on different people. <laughs> so... So, yeah, I guess it could be temporary. Um... But you know what? I'm gonna think about it as being permanent. Because I wanna live. Good. Good, and now you got your life back. What do you want out of it? What do you expect me to say? That I want you back? stays the same, does it? Things change. People change. You have. I have. But there's one thing that'll never change. It's the place that you hold in my heart. No one could ever touch that. Never. I can only imagine the lies and exaggerations that Baldwin has told you. Oh, he didn't lie to me. Maybe he did exaggerate a little bit, but he, he didn't lie to me. So what, every fourth or fifth word was the truth? <laughs> no. Truth, he told me that you were married to Tracy Quartermain. Truth. He reminded me of a time that I loved him. Truth. He wasn't always the villain. We really made him into that. Really, you did. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> 